Hi everyone, welcome to my Photoshop tutorial today I'll be teaching this vampire effect. Now this tutorial here, um, someone asked me to create this for them. Um, so this tutorial is going to be split up into parts. Now these parts are going to be about the eyes, the teeth, ants and veins, blood, pale skin and dark eyes. Now all these little effects create this one big effect for the vampire tutorial. So if we switch over to the actual image we're going to be working on, right here. Now this picture here I got off a photo exchange website and um, I'll put a link in the description bar or I'll put it in the source files for you to download so you can actually practice as much as you want uh, before you actually start on your own images. Now before we begin if you're actually taking a picture to actually do this effect make the picture dramatic as much as you can. Uh, like this picture is very dramatic and it works well. Now sometimes this effect does work on a non-dramatic photo but you actually have to play around with it see if this effect actually does work for the actual picture itself. So you're gonna have to work on your own a tiny little bit um, just so you know if it works or not. So if we go and jump over to this other picture right here. Now we're gonna uh, start on the pale skin. Now I don't need to do the pale skin on this actual picture because this picture um, she had makeup on and she already had the pale skin so we didn't need to do that effect. So if we jump over to this picture right here she's got a very tanned face and we don't need her to have that sort of um, you know glow so we want her to have really pale skin. So if we uh, duplicate that layer Control and J right there and we just go uh, control and U and we're going to go and sort the saturation down you don't want to go all the way down so it's black and white you want to just have it so there's a little bit of color but not too much so a sort of washed out sort of feel like there so about 56 uh, depending on your picture at the time you really need to play around with this sort of effect right here and then click OK now obviously it's going to wash out the background now if you don't want to wash out the color in the background because we duplicated that layer it's already got the layer behind it so if we go to the eraser tool bring up the eraser and we just erase around her so it brings the color actually back in now that is one way for the pale skin now I'm going to jump over to this image again because we're going to be working on the eyes. So if we zoom in like that and we're going to duplicate this uh, layer, Control and J again like that and we're going to go to the pen tool. Now there, I do have um, tutorials explaining how to do the eyes Now I'm just going to do this very quickly it ain't going to be very good because I've only got 15 minutes on YouTube at the moment. So I've got to make this very quick. The more time you spend on your image, the better it's going to look. Now once you've done that and selected the eyes, you're going to right click and go to make selection. You want the feather radius to be one pixel, anti-analyzed, clicked on, and new selection. Make sure you've got that and then click OK. You're going to zoom out of the image and then hit Control and U. And we're going to hit Colorize, bring the saturation up, and the hue is going to select the color. Now, you really need to play around with the color depending on your picture, what suits best. So I'm going to put yellow. You don't want to bring the saturation all the way up because you don't want it too bright. Depending on your picture and how much light you've got in the image, it really depends on your taste at the time. I'm going to keep it 81 on the saturation, 63 on the hue. Click OK and then hit Ctrl and D to deselect. Then we're going to zoom in on the eyes again. We're going to hit the burn tool, which is on the left hand side. We're going to hit midtones. We're going to hit the exposure to 52%. Zoom in a bit more. Make sure the brush is small because we're just going to go on the outside of our eye. So let's do that. And on the other eye. 
and you can play around with the shadows, highlights, and midtones and stuff like that. And we're going to go to get the dodge tool. So click on the burn tool, and another layer will come up, and you're going to hit dodge tool. Now the exposure is going to be 75% on midtones, so we're just going to lighten the middle of our eye up like that. Zoom out, not too far. There we go. That adds character to our eyes, which look great. Now what we're going to do is the teeth. So if we go and get a new layer, Control and J again. And we go to filter, go to liquify. Now there are tons of ways of doing the teeth. You can go on Google and search for fangs and implement them into the actual photo. But that takes time and a lot of effort. Or you can just outline them with the pen tool like you did the eyes. And then sort of um, warp it. Now that's one way. Um, but this way here that I'm going to show you is a better effect. So if we zoom in. Now obviously this is going to only work if you've got someone with an open mouth sort of thing and you've got a full exposure of the teeth. Now you want to select the forward warp tool. You want the brush size to be the exact same size as the tooth, so the diameter and the width. Now all you're going to do is you're going to just drag it out like that, swoop out like that. Now once you've done that, you're going to click OK because you're basically done in this. And then we're going to zoom in on the teeth again. Now as you see, the warp tool has made these lines in the mouth, uh, which we don't want. So we're going to hit the clone tool, zoom in, hit, uh, hold down alt and then click wherever you want to um, copy from. And then we're just going to take away all that weird thing that doesn't actually look right. So let's just remaster that bit. Like there. Now that looks great. Now we've done the teeth which looks absolutely cool. 